Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Kaiser Alien. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So this is the Kaiser Alien or Alien. Not exactly sure how to pronounce it. So we'll just go with Alien. And it is a titanium frame lock. It comes in S35VN blade steel. This knife uh, does not come anodized. So I actually did the anodizing myself. I think it came out okay. It's kind of that um, icy blue, silvery blue color. I did not take out the um, lock bar insert. So you get a little bit of discoloration, a little bit of purple there which is fine. Um, I think it looks kind of cool, but, um, you know, lately I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with anodizing some of my titanium knives. It's definitely a fun project. Um, but yeah, always, always learning, uh, kind of learning on the job. So titanium frame lock, it, um, it actually came in this, um, you can see the knife pouch here, but it came in this like big oversized box with these magnet um, like doors and another box in the box and a brochure and just all this stuff inside and it was just a little it was a little much so not a huge fan of that much packaging for what this is maybe if it was a custom knife and they're trying to make it more special but it was a little little over the top i am a huge fan of including the knife pouch um with the knife i think that's a big big upside you know, they're not trying to charge me $5 extra or $10 on their website to buy it after I spend hundreds of dollars on their knife. Um, they include it. It doesn't cost them anything. So I think that's a big upside. Pouch, yes. Thank you, Kaiser. Um, now, as far as the knife goes, this is, um, I don't want to get anyone's uh, hopes up too high, but I think they actually discontinued this knife. Uh, so keep an eye out for it. If you can find it, cool. It might still be on... I don't know, on Blade HQ or wherever. Um, but I think they discontinued this, and I, I wonder why. No, <laughs> the design is a little uh, it's a little out there, but it is called the Alien, so Alien. Um, I got this knife for a significant discount. I forget exactly what I paid for it. I think it was around $100, which was discounted from what it normally goes for, which I, if I can remember correctly, it was closer to... $200 and I saw full titanium frame lock S35 VN blade steel and I thought yep good deal 100 bucks good to go and yes S35 VN is an excellent blade steel I have a number of knives in S35 VN and it's a great steel it's it doesn't need to be M390 for it to be good uh, S35 VN has good edge retention good durability uh, good toughness. It is a solid, solid steel. So it does not need to be M390 or 20CV to be an excellent premium steel. Um, so I saw S35VN, full titanium frame lock, and I thought, yep, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Even though it's not, I mean, look at this design. It's kind of, it's it's out there. It's modern, all right. You got this milling pattern uh, on both sides. It's, it's, uh, it's out there. It's definitely not my style. It's very like hyper modern, um, but you know, I'm sure someone out there will <laughs> will like it. For me, it, it's not uh, the most attractive design. Now, when I got it, the action was really gritty. It was it was kind of sticky and gritty, and I tried to um, you know just keep playing with it and um, see if it loosened up, and it did not. So, actually, before I anodized this, I, I took everything apart. And I uh, checked out what's going on on the inside. And it runs on washers, which is fine with me. That's cool. Um, but it actually had these uh, bronze washers. I guess I guess phosphor bronze washers. Um, bronze washers. And it also had plastic washer or Teflon washers. So it had both. Um, so what I did is I took out the Teflon washers, uh, threw them away, put in the bronze washers, without the Teflon washers, and all of a sudden, the action got way better. Way smoother, snappier. 
Um, it also felt like the detent um, was not quite as strong. And um, before I messed with everything and took out the Teflon washers, I could not get the blade centering um, to be right down the middle. And then as soon as I did my little uh, surgery, boom, centered. So I don't know. Um, it's definitely, uh, I'm not sure what the science is behind that, but it's definitely way better now than it was uh, with only the bronze washers. Um, let's go ahead and see what, and before I could not middle finger flick it, it was kind of like tough to get open. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like now. Boom, yep, pretty solid. Easy middle finger flick. You can see the blade. Um, it says that it's satin, a satin finish, but mm, does that look satin to you guys? So I, I think this is more like a light, light stone wash, which I'm fine with, but it's weird that they listed this as uh, satin. We have a clip point blade, really, you know, super aggressive clip point which I usually do not like at all. <laughs> I think the only uh, clip point that I really like, oh, I don't have it with me, um, is my, um, what's it called? Is the Eddie from Quiet Carry, and that's more like a subtle, subtle clip point. Um, so yeah, not a huge fan of the blade shape, but the finish, I think the stone wash, the light stone wash actually looks cool. Kind of matches the kind of uh, dull, <laughs> dull anodizing I did. Um, but yeah, that silvery, silvery tone. Anyway, um, it is a frame lock. Let's go ahead and check it out. See, yep, good lock up. Let's see the closing action. Yeah, okay. Much better now that I messed with it. Um, before, I should have taken a video before to show you guys. Um, it was, it was not, it was not a, a pretty sight before. Um, let's go ahead and, um, do a quick size comparison get this guy flicked out again yeah so the action is actually pretty solid now very snappy the detent is not too strong um not as strong as it was let's see what we got okay let's go ahead and get the neutron 2 and let's get the quiet carry drift so as you can see the kaiser alien is a big ass knife <laughs> Is definitely on the larger side, not not too big, but definitely bigger than the Neutron 2 and bigger than the Drift. Let's go ahead and get this um, measured up. We got the Kaiser Alien coming in at about three and a half inch blade length. Yep, that's that's serious. And then about eight inches overall. It's a big knife. We got Neutron 2 coming in three inch blade length and about just, just under seven overall. And then as you can see, I, I have a type here. <laughs> Definitely am a fan of the, the drop point, but these will be about the same, just about, just about three inches and then just about under seven for the drift. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way. And let's bring in um, my, my favorite size comparison. 4MAX Scout from Cold Steel. Oh, now it doesn't look that giant. But as you can see, I mean, you know, the, the Alien is, is pretty pretty serious, but nothing's as serious as the 4MAX or the 4MAX Scout. Let's get that out of the way. And one more size comparison. I have this on hand. We got a um, Quiet Carry IQ. Yeah, so the... Alien is definitely on the large side. Um, I'm just gonna go over real quick kind of the, the, the hardware and um, what to keep an eye out for. First of all, you got this big, ugly <laughs> lanyard hole that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why it's there. I, I'm never gonna use it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, you also have this backspacer, which I actually do like. It would be kind of cool if it was a full backspacer, but. I do like that it's extra long and kind of covers these angles. Uh, you got the, I think this is like Kaiser's signature, like little pinwheel design. I think that's cool for the for the pivot. Pocket clip, eh, <laughs> not my favorite pocket clip. It's kind of, it's kind of awkward, kind of an awkward clip. 
and these thumb studs are are just kind of like they like they put them on the wrong knife or like they're they're just kind of blocky and and boxy i don't know it, it's definitely not fun on your thumb and it was really not thumb not uh, not fun on my thumb um before i fixed the action so just kind of we a weird choice for thumb studs i don't know if that's only on the alien or if they put it on other kaiser knives maybe you guys can let me know in the comments but you can see a little bit of billboarding if you can see that yeah kaiser logo there we go s35vn nice uh sweaty blade and um i think that covers like the hardware oh and then of course they had to tell us it's the alien if we didn't already know Let's go ahead and talk about the upsides. So upside, it is, <laughs> there aren't that many upsides, but there are a few. Upside, full titanium frame lock. I like frame locks. I like full titanium handles. Definitely an upside. Another upside is that um, it's anodized. And I did the anodizing. No, but um, it, it's you can take it apart really easily and put it together really easily. And th that's definitely an upside because sometimes you take them apart and you're just like, oh, oh man, what, what do I do now? Um, and they're tough to put back together. So it's definitely easy to take apart, easy to put back together. Uh, another upside is actually the blade finish. I like not only that it's S35VN, which is, you know, one of my favorite steels, but that kind of light stone wash that the secret light stone wash that they won't tell me about. Um, I like that a lot. I like the way it looks. Doesn't really get fingerprinted, which is cool. Unlike all my satin uh, satin blades that are just fingerprint magnets. Um, oh, I, you know what? I forgot to talk about ergos. Let's see how this feels. Yeah, so actually this is kind of cool. It has like a little, little ramp for my thumb. The, the top half of the Ergos is actually really nice. My thumb fits there perfectly. I feel like it has, I have a lot of control. I don't need any jimping because there's a little place for my thumb. The bottom half, on the other hand, uh, yeah, I'm just getting a little hot spot on the, um, on the, the lock bar. And it's actually kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that. I, I know they did this little you know, they knock this back, this little chamfer cut out so you can disengage the lock bar, but it's creating like a little hot spot for my pointer finger, kind of getting pinched in there. So that's a little uncomfortable. Also, I feel like I'm kind of far, far back, like off the knife when normally I'd want to choke up a little bit, but there's just nowhere to choke up. So there goes, eh. um, not my favorite. But uh, anyway, back to the upsides. That's it. No, <laughs> um, I think the real upside is that it is only a hundred bucks, and it was on sale. It was a discount. I, I wouldn't have purchased this full price. So I definitely think um, that's that's a good thing that it was discounted. If you can find it, keep an eye out for it. Maybe it's even discounted uh, more now because uh, it's been a while since I got this guy. Um, it did come super sharp. The bevel. Looks great, nice and even. I'm not a huge fan of the tip, too pointy. But um, I just feel like that's gonna just break off. But the um, the price is 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 solid for the material, so that's definitely an upside. As far as the downsides go, there's uh, <laughs> there's there's quite a few. Um, I, the, the the overall design is just not my thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that under the. Uh, the downside throw that to the downside category this lanyard hole why is it there i have no idea um the pocket clip is tough to use and you know when it's sitting in your pocket that sticks out so you know i mean i don't need a deep carry clip on all my knives but that's kind of i don't i don't want to see all that um another downside are these thumb studs. They kind of feel like they were just put on last minute. They shouldn't really be on this particular knife. And another downside, my last downside is this really super aggressive, although I kind of touched on that earlier, super aggressive clip point. 
Oh, and I also forgot um, <laughs> another downside is the action. I mean, not anymore. The action is smoother, as you can see. Yeah, but when I first got this knife, the action was not great. So overall, I think that it's a good buy for the materials. If you don't mind the super modern design, some people are really into it. Um, I'm not, but uh, if you could find the knife, I think it's worth it. Um, if it's discounted, I, I wouldn't buy it full price. Um, but if you can find this guy um, at a discounted price, I definitely would go for it. Full titanium frame lock, you can kind of use it as a like a beater knife or um, you can practice your anodizing on it. S35VM, solid steel, uh, definitely not a bad purchase for the price. Um, I don't know why it would ever be more than 100 and I can definitely see why it was discontinued. Overall, solid. Um, does it make me excited about trying more Kaiser stuff? Not really, but I, I will. <laughs> I definitely will. Um, so yeah, I think that overall it's not my favorite, but I'm glad I got it. And um, thank you for watching the review. All right, this has been Knife Standards. Catch you guys soon.